Hello there, I'm Shark Yusufzai. I'm Vice President of Global Diversity for Chevron, and it's also my honor to be Vice Chair of the AICHE Foundation. And today I'm happy to welcome John Talamantos. John just gave an incredible address uh, as the winner of the Agile Award, which is AICHE's highest award, for his leadership, his visionary leadership, and creating many companies and great growth for our industry and our reputation. So congratulations, uh, uh, John. It was a, a tremendous address uh, with lots of things that maybe we could summarize and cover today. Uh, thank so you, thank you for joining us. Um, John is the co-lead of Arsenal Capital's specialty industrial, industrial practice and has led his team through more than 100 acquisitions in the chemicals and materials space. In addition to serving on boards of many Arsenal-owned companies and holding various management positions throughout his career, John's dedication to the success of the global chemical engineering enterprise is also exemplified by his devotion to AICHE and the objectives of the AICHE Foundation, where John chairs, uh, together with Jim Fiddling, our Doing the World of Good campaign. And as I mentioned, John has just won uh, the AICHE's most prestigious award, the Agile Award. So John, in today's keynote lecture, you said chemical engineers can do anything. And um, uh, we were having a conversation over here about private equity. Uh, that is not some place where chemical engineers naturally gravitate to. So can you tell us a little bit about what, as a chemical engineer, made you so successful in the private equity business? and any advice that you might have relative to those that might be uh, thinking about that, because one of the things you said is chemical engineers straddle between science and industry, and that they're really uh, very, very uh, set up to be entrepreneurial. So a little bit about uh, how your journey about private equity. Sure, thanks Shark, and again thank you uh, for this uh, uh, surprising award. Um, now, I think the uh, opportunities in life come the way they come, and you can't always plan them. They say you, you make plans and life happens. I think that's true very much with, with my uh, career journey. Uh, I started off in process research uh, in the silicones area, and I think what I found myself to be a little more curious always I wanted to learn more, I wasn't satisfied with the superficial knowledge that's usually con uh, disseminated. And it continued when I had more senior business roles and understanding more and more that the most sustainable advantage of a business is its technology and nurturing that technology and exploiting it and the people that are around it I found to be the most impactful in creating value for an industry in a more sustainable, durable way. Um, through my business journey, um, I got connected with private equity, not to join them, but to be acquired by them. So in a couple of my companies, when I was CEO of Fomex, mm -hmm. and then when I was president of Aqualon, they were private equity firms trying to buy our businesses, mm -hmm. and, and I got to meet the leaders of those firms, and, and they really attracted me to join them rather than me seeking a career. Mm -hmm. And during those discussions, uh, I got enticed that yeah, maybe this is a good thing to consider. Uh, and the idea of having the influence through controlling the process of what you can do with a company rather than just being an employee mm -hmm. uh, was, was rather appealing. Great. Well, while we were talking uh, on the way up here, you talked about the difference between private equity and venture capital. Could you explain for our audience what that is and if you think chemical engineers can do uh, well in either of those? Absolutely. So venture capital usually invests in companies that, that, that are budding technology companies, companies that sometimes don't have any revenue. Mm -hmm. They have a technology or an idea, it may be a pharmaceutical structure, that's being uh, going through its stages of, uh, of testing, uh, or a software company that has an idea but not real sales. And they progress through having sales but not usually profits, so they're burning cash right. as they grow, which is what small companies have to do. 
Uh, private equity, on the other hand, by established companies, more established companies, mm -hmm. in need of help. So they, they have cash flow, they have profits, but we look at the opportunities of those companies. Sometimes they're orphans in a large corporation because they don't fit the big direction that the company mm -hmm. is moving towards. And, and those orphans have a lot of nuggets that we can build on. And at Arsenal Capital, we've done a good job of taking these smaller companies and many companies, many times assembling into much larger entities that have common themes, whether it's an adhesive platform, coatings platform, a polyurethane platform, a UV curable intermediates platform. Mm -hmm. And we've built 16 of those platforms through 100 acquisitions. Mm -hmm. That, that have come to a very significant scale. And that's very enjoyable to see those companies progress and also their key management, many of whom are simple engineers, have the opportunity to enrich themselves in ways that are not available to lower levels of management in larger corporations. Great. And do you think chemical engineers could do well in either one of these? Absolutely. So we see chemical engineers in both because in the venture capital firms, when they're assessing technology, the people that are just financially driven can only go so far. They right. need technologists to tell them what's real and what's possible. One, is it real what they're presenting? But what else is possible with this technology? And that way they can make much better investments than just looking at random numbers. Uh, and in private equity, very much so. At least in our firm, we have more than 50% of our professionals that came from the chemical industry, experienced people from operations, manufacturing, marketing, sales, and technology. And we find that collaboration between those and the financial partners that we have gives us the ability to make better investments, have better judgment, and uh, it's worked well. Great. Well, one of the uh, most powerful parts of your speech today was when you stopped and gave some advice on behaviors, on collaboration, uh, on how to uh, overcome setbacks and even people that may have been asked to leave their companies and could you share that with our audience the piece nuggets of advice and wisdom you gave our group to this Be morning? Be glad to. It's something that I uh, have learned because of the many years of experience uh, that, that I think works well. Um, collaboration is essential and yet so difficult for some people because collaboration means being willing to be open and share your thoughts and knowledge. And sometimes that's what you feel differentiates you, but it really doesn't. People that have, that are creative, are creative again and again and again. So giving ideas of what you've created, what you thought of to other people to build on, actually makes those people want to work with you more, rather than just holding those ideas to yourself. And again, I found that the people that are creative have more than one idea. They just keep finding opportunities in new uh, circumstances to contribute. Uh, the second one is, so collaboration, absolutely key. It's something that you gain appreciation as you get older. It's important if we can impart that to our younger people that feel that they need to hold on to what they know to themselves because that really isolates them. It does not allow them to progress and have as big of an impact. And um, uh, the, the idea of uh, treating others as, they, as, as, they, uh, as you want to be treated is, is, uh, is a simple sentence, difficult to do, because when we find ourselves in difficult circumstances, we go back into our shell, and, and, and that is a mistake. I think it's a lot more impactful if you can put that aside and, and, and go for the bigger good of whatever the company is working on. It'll serve you and the organization a lot better. Well, John, um, the AICHE is very indebted to you for co-leading the Doing a World of Good campaign. My pleasure. Uh, what uh, uh, motivated you to give your time, talent, and treasure to AICHE in this way? Yeah. Um, I think that um, whether it's the college you graduate from or the profession you leave, right. um, you, you have an obligation to give back. Uh, anybody who has had the fortune to be successful, in my mind, has the obligation and the pleasure to give back. I've done that for my college. I, I want to do more for AICHE because I see that the, 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 the contribution I make one is appreciated, but more importantly, it's having 
an impact in an organization that is thriving. It's, it's really a peak performance and, and one that I want to see have a bigger impact in the world. It's really having an impact, not just in our profession, but in the world. And I'm glad that the aspiration of the Institute has now risen to that level. It is no longer the simple tasks and simple training. It's aspirational. It allows a lot more people that have left the profession to want to give back. And I think the more we communicate that to those people, that there's both an opportunity and the need and the desire, the more of that will help us come back. And that collaboration is also needed by ASAG. Well, thank you so much. So if you had one piece of advice to give our uh, young chemical engineers going forward, what would that be, or a couple of pieces of advice? Yes, well, I think the training we get as chemical engineers yes. uh, is the most valuable that you can have in, in a business world because we straddle the sciences and business. We, we are trained to think, not only understand the physical world, but how to apply it. And the impact of technology of making money those are the two things that if someone can put together, creates much better differentiation for any chemical engineer to do well in any profession they choose to continue to do. Well, that's a wonderful note on which to end our uh, uh, little meeting here. Um, we've been speaking with John Televantos, partner with Arsenal Capital, and a distinguished winner of the AICHE Agile Award. John, thank you very My much pleasure. for joining us.